here. Hey, I want to just uh, inform you, I'm at the uh, uh, Colorado-Utah border. Well, pretty close, but right behind that camera is the uh, interstate, and uh, just two miles to the west of here is uh, the Colorado-Utah border. And so uh, I'm not quite there yet, but this is Rabbit Valley. This is a real good area for uh, locals like to come out and ride. It's a real nice area to ride. You can ride down all the way to the Colorado River. Plenty of camping out here. But anyway, this is my jump off point. And I've got my truck parked over there. Going to be there for a while. And uh, in fact, I have someone coming tonight to pick it up. I don't want to leave it out here by itself. Uh, but anyway, besides that point, uh, this area I've ridden a lot over the years and uh, I'm going to follow this road right behind uh, the sign and it hits a couple trails, drops me down along some railroad tracks, along the uh, Colorado River um, and from there I start, I come up to the, uh, uh, the border, there'll be a sign, uh, Colorado, Utah borderline, a little sign about yay big and uh, so anyway uh, when we get there I'll let you let you see that spot um, I'm all ready to go this this bike is custom from uh, the front bumper all the way to uh, the back uh, there's so many I can't even begin to tell you some of the <laughs> custom stuff that's been done to this bike anyway uh, I built it for a lot of comfort I can uh, cruise all day not having the wind blast me I've got uh, two GPS's I got the main one here with the 7 inch screen I've got uh, regular GPS Garmin uh, 60 CSX I've got uh, the um, spot satellite personal tracker I've got that and um, anyway I've got uh, different ways of communicating with people I've got uh, uh, weather radios I've got CB I've got a couple other radio designs I can use and um, so <clears throat> you'll see more of this bike when uh, uh, I stop and do things you know uh, but uh, it's loaded up I've got camping gear I've got about five gallons of water I've got enough fuel to go 420 miles if need be that ain't gonna happen uh, <laughs> there's there's fuel stations along the way uh, I think the next time I fuel up is uh, about just uh, 103 miles okay uh, so I'll, I'll fill up I'll probably uh, use a full tank or pretty close and I'll pull one of my small packs down and uh, get me into the gas station so anyway uh, I've got uh, electric gear to run everything and uh, uh, lots of carry-on stuff comfort creature comfort stuff so <laughs> anyway I'm getting about ready to take off I uh, just double checking a few things and uh, I'm all licensed for uh, Colorado and uh, Utah uh, got my tags got the Colorado's on the front got the uh, Utah in the back as required by law and uh, so anyway right now it's currently probably around uh, 79 degrees uh, the wind is actually uh, completely calm. I could hold a match here right now and uh, wish there was a little bit more breeze, but uh, hopping on this thing and starting to cruise at 30, 30, 35 miles an hour, the air conditioner kicks in anyway. So anyway, um, that's it. And I hope you enjoy this, uh, this trip. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I love a challenge. And uh, as you know, last year I did, uh, from Utah to California, across the state of Nevada, uh, 788 miles, and uh, it was a blast. I'm looking forward to doing more and more of this. Uh, eventually, I'm looking to get uh, from uh, here in a couple years, wrap, mapping and routing the system from uh, Canada all the way down to Mexico. So I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way down to uh, way down into Mexico but at least we're gonna make it to Mexico so uh, anyway uh, welcome aboard and we'll be shooting lots of video doing lots of pictures let you see what I see 
talk to you down the trail. Nyrock out.